Okay, refitting the rocker shaft. Um, these caps here from that are on top of the valves, I would recommend putting new ones on. It doesn't hurt and they're very cheap. Now, the rocker shaft itself, worth inspecting. The um, wearing faces here, just make sure they're not dented too badly. This is quite important. The bushes here that are on the rockers themselves, it's actually cheaper to buy the whole rocker than to replace the bush, so keep that in mind if they have too much play on them. When it comes to assembly, you need to make sure that the components that move are oiled, okay, because they will be dry when you put them back together when you put this engine back together. What we do at the top of the head here, we have a dowel peg. Now this is vital, this has got to be in place, alright? This dowel peg corresponds with the rocker shaft on one end and it has to be fitted such, okay, you see that? Right, so don't forget that that needs to be there. So also, we'll need to drop oil onto the uh, top of the valves as well, just remembering that the uh, rockers make contact at this point. So fitting the push rods in, we have eight of these and they need to be fitted in a fashion so they they are actually on the top of the uh, cam follower i've dropped a little bit of oil down the well there and i'm also going to oil the tops of these just to make sure that they'll be all right when the engine first starts once the oil's up that's all right and then it'll leave oil there but always when you're rebuilding an engine with dry parts you, you need to have oil on it you don't have to be too excessive, just a, it's a helping hand as they say. We're going to locate this, as I showed you with this part here. Okay, don't forget that you have oil being pushed up into the uh, rocker shaft, so that's important. You need to make sure that the rockers sit properly. They fit into the uh, push rods and that they fit evenly across the whole uh, top of the engine. Um, you need to do this and make sure they're all square before you start to bolt this down. Now, there is a tightening sequence with this and uh, basically you just work it bit by bit to get them to, to pull down onto the valves, okay? Uh, we want to make sure that the valves themselves are in contact with the uh, the rockers. And uh, there is a little bit of movement, because they do move. You want them as central as possible. You see here, where's the spring? Okay, you have washers, and the washers must be in contact. Um, keep it how it was when you stripped it, and then see how you get on. You definitely need to make sure that the rocker sits central to the valve. You can adjust this by putting thicker or thinner washers in there. You can see as you push this down, it's going to be need to be pulled down quite considerably. All right, so we have a uh, 10 mil socket here and 13 mil for the uh, the other bolts. Okay, so I'm going to progressively pull these down. Um, centers first, obviously. All right, and you do this gently because don't forget you're screwing into aluminium here. All right, once you get resistance against the valves, you're going to have a couple that need pushing down. And, uh, yeah, it's a 13 mil on this side. Okay. Now, I do this gently. Now, once you've pulled it up and nipped it just slightly, you'll then want to use a torque wrench. Um, the settings will come up on the screen at some point. They are bolted down, but it's not torqued yet. Okay, so, uh, torque wrench settings are on the screen here now there's no special device here I'm, I'm using a click torque wrench and the bolts themselves are not um, torqued down very tightly at all okay it's uh, just be aware of the torque settings on this so pull them up and then click all right um, do all five I work from the uh, center outwards usually uh, but it doesn't matter as long as the torque setting and the torque pressure is even right the way across the bar Right, so the last thing on this torque wrench, while I'm not using it, is just let the spring off, alright? It leaves this torque wrench more accurate for longer.